Okay, so, area. so everybody but, but else is getting Longhorns, what I would do. I'm it, it's, long, it's Longhorns coverage area. It that that way it's designated that the contracting with that. If you want to give it to Longhorn, stock up a contract with Longhorn, that, okay. that's a, how did we ever, how did the county come up with the, the number for the, for the department? It was all progressed mainly off some base numbers that the four cities had originally. Uh, the four cities, their fire departments were, were given a, a larger amount than the, the county departments, which would be like the Nottaberry, Southern Springs, Longhorn, Three Oaks. They were less. They I mean, I'm just looking at, and I no offense, but you got Southern Springs and Wood Valley, a thousand dollars less in Stockdale, or even Florida. Yeah. Who covers more coverage areas? Well, Stockdale actually covers more coverage area than anybody, uh, but it's only about like one square mile. Floresville and Stockdale are pretty much the same. I agree with that. And I'm they're not they're on that. coverage area, square miles. Uh, Southern Springs. Oh, uh, covered more than Wood Valley and Southern Springs. Yes, uh, it's not a whole lot, but they cover more because of three oaks out there. It depends on whether you get into your wildland versus structural. Uh, Southern Springs, Wood Valley, Eagle Creek, uh, the four cities, uh, they all do structural. Uh, Canada Verde and Three Oaks don't. They do mainly wildland and support structural. It's kind of like over the years, we've had different departments come in and say, we need this in order to keep, I mean, it's like some of the things we're dealing with now. If you want to maintain service, we need to do this, and it's been an uh, agreement. And it's always a change in landscape. For instance, now with your Eagleford activities in, in your street thing down there, it, it's a different <coughs> problem than it was when we did this. I mean, that's, but like I said, it's always a, a changing thing that needs to be evaluated from time to time. I mean, you, I mean I'm just taking up a Florida and stock there. They get called almost every day, you know, for whatever. They all, I mean, we, we we're very fortunate for all of them. I mean, we can't just say, uh, you know, it, it's a, it's a coverage, and for the most part, it's all volunteer. And, uh, it's a tough number to figure, Commissioner. It's, it's real hard. You can't, you don't want to go off and call volume because then people start having fires whenever they wouldn't have been having fires and things like that. And square miles versus population versus property to protect. I mean, it, it's it's real hard to figure out how to come up with. And, and most of them, for the most part, have been pleased with that. And we've devised some things for training, you know. I mean, we've put, implemented some uh, pool of money that if you need training, you get it. I mean, it's, it's a whole, it's a whole, very, it's almost a topic that we need to take up on its own. And, uh, do we have any disgruntled firemen at this time anymore? I'm just looking at the numbers when you stop. For the day. most part, they seem to all be, I haven't had anybody complain. I mean, sure, they all want more money. I mean, that's a given. If I went out there and said, could you use more money, everybody's going to say yes. Uh, it, are, are they getting by with what they're getting? Yes. And they're making it work. The Forest Service has grants out there for trucks. Uh, they have grants out for training, uh, things like that. Uh, one of the things that we implemented last year, and I'd like to make sure we keep doing it, is that e-dispatch, where we took 4000 of the training money and uh, applied it towards where we could get our dispatching through our phones or computers. And I'd like to continue that. Uh, main reason is I have heard nothing but positive results from uh, people who are at work now know there's a fire going on. When they get, get home, they, they know to go by the fire station and see if they need anything. Uh, same thing with EMS calls. Uh, other than that, you know, uh, ESD is the only way to substantially increase any uh, funding for any of the emergency services other than law enforcement. It's, it's pretty much the only thing out there. Hospitals um, identified percent increase. There have been some budget requests that are not included in here. Um, the one precinct one he would like to have in the secretary, which I'm not included. And Precinct 2 has had several budget requests, new car, uh, raising salary, some other things. Like uh, if y'all want to add to that, that's up to y'all. Um, 
Department of Public Safety, salary increase, human resources, salary increase, uh, then we think that she went from one position to another. Um, juvenile probation. And that one, the biggest increase on there was the juvenile care. And we had budgeted $75,000 last year of juvenile care, and that's, of course, paying for the, the juveniles in Atascosa County. Uh, and we've so far spent almost 130 this year, so I have bumped that up because obviously that's not going to go down. Um, and they, various things, uh, she's got moving a part time for a full time, and then we have some increases in computer equipment. Senior citizen that RSVP. Last year we budgeted a thousand, they requested two. I don't know if you wanted to think of two. I put two in instead of a thousand. RSVP. And we gave them a thousand last year? Yes, sir. Give them a thousand again. Mm -hmm. Really and truly, they, they put their claim to their services is a lot of services that our citizens are doing themselves. It's, it's mm -hmm. um, extension office, they're needing a vehicle for. They requested a vehicle, a uh, larger vehicle for uh, transporting children so that they don't have to go in the sheriff's. I thought that was many nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just cover the letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that teaches everybody else don't mess with our.